I wanted to become an engineer because we've got a few in the family. Uh, one of the main ones is my brother. Um, I've got a really good relationship with him and he's a heating engineer himself. So the reason why I wanted to apply to the IET is because I already held um, a ECS card or a CSES card that was I was a member of the IET previously with being an electrician. Um, I'd had exposure to the IET in that, in that world um, as with being an apprentice electrician and it, 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 obviously with dealing with the IET I then had quite a fondness to them. There was a lot of other engineers in my company, ACOM, who were also members of the IET. Um, and obviously, as I'm electrical biased, the, the IET is geared up towards that in some ways as well. Becoming professionally registered, um, I feel as though it's benefited my career in quite a multitude of ways. Uh, I'd say one of the main ones is giving me the ability to recognise how far you've come and how far maybe you can go in the future. Uh, I think it's always really important to, to try your best and, and prove, your, prove your ability to yourself mainly in some ways uh, and it also gives you as an individual confidence to undertake certain tasks that maybe before you wouldn't have done. Uh, so initially I found the application process quite daunting, um, I think it's probably the same with everyone, uh, but as it further progressed and I attended some of the uh, meetings with the IET and I got more in tune with the career manager. Uh, received some help from the uh, career advice team. Um, it became a lot more straightforward and uh, yeah, in the end it was quite enjoyable. <laughs> but I've also just applied to become a mentor with the IET and hopefully maybe I can then help other people get involved as well further down the line. I would say that I measure success in my career uh, by achieving some of the goals that I set. Um, so for example, uh, when I was 18, my first goal was to become an electrician. Then it was to lead on to become an approved electrician, an electrical site manager. I would say the next step for me professionally um, would be hopefully progressing to senior electrical engineer within my company. Um, they've been really good to me. It's nice to have some strong support networks and get on some really interesting projects for different clients. Um, in terms of professional registration, the next steps for me uh, would hopefully be progressing to chartership and then maybe one day in the future progressing to fellowship. I haven't been in my role uh, for about 18 months. Uh, I decided that I wanted to become uh, further professionally registered. Uh, I'd, already I'd already managed to attain EngTech and so the natural progression for that was to go for iEng. Uh, I was really lucky to have some of the support, some of the mentors and some of the staff around me. Uh, and yeah, that's what led me on to work towards iEng. I, I like to try and get involved in things outside of work. Uh, one of the things I have undertaken is uh, becoming a STEM ambassador. Uh, ACOM is a really, you know, really in touch with that. Um, quite lucky in that sense that we have uh, a social value scheme. So the, the company actively encourages us as professionals and individuals to get more involved in giving back to the community. One of the things I was again really lucky to do was uh, have the opportunity to go back to the school where I studied and uh, in high school and uh, do a careers day uh, as a STEM ambassador and sort of give something back to where I started.